Hey guys, Isabel here, um, this time alone, like Victoria has been doing for whole of October now. I am gonna do a sketch now, um, by myself, recording myself, which is always kind of weird because I'm used to Victoria pitching in on everything, which is really nice, but I forced her to take a break now from Inktober because she were doing a really ambitious project. She was doing extremely well, but we have vacation now and I kind of needed her to take a break and take care of herself first. So I have ordered her to not do Inktober just for now. So instead, here I am filling in, trying to figure out what to do. And I don't know if we ever told you guys, but we've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds lately because we didn't have internet for a really long time. Um, the internet is back now, and we've kind of stopped watching Criminal Minds, but I've always been a huge fan of the show. And particularly, I've been a big fan of Patchy Brewster, who plays Emily Prentice on the show. So I thought, what better way to try to keep up all this nice fan art that's been going on for Inktober than to do a quick sketch of her. So that's what you see. Um, right now I'm trying to sketch out everything and make sure that all the proportions are okay. I'm trying to do this really loose to get more of that sketchy feel to it so I don't tie it down too much. I have been known to do extremely realistic rendered portraits and those things are really nice but it also takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So I've, I wanted to try to experiment with, with keeping it more chill and see how, how that turned out. And I'm kind of okay with the results. I had a lot of technical issues here. I don't know if it'll affect, hopefully it won't affect the video too much. I know that there will be some different issues towards the end of the video with small blurring and the mouse smearing and stuff, but I had to keep that in, otherwise it was crashing all the time and Photoshop started crashing too and it was not all that pretty. So I got something for you at least. And I should also warn you guys, I have a tiny bit of a cold. So if my voice sounds kind of off, or if I'm sniffing or coughing or anything, that is why. It's, uh, it's been going around school, and I, I caught it, and it's not fun I'm going on vacation tomorrow, so I'm hoping for the best. But um, yeah, it should be okay. So I think this picture is something from... One of the earlier seasons, maybe season three. Um, I actually think maybe the ending of season two, because I think this was one of the episodes that was tied into Jane um, and Gideon. And I don't remember the serial killer's name right now, but he was not that nice. And he hurt people that Gideon liked. So it's really far back, but... I kind of like this this image. She has like a kind of swag butch vibe going on that I really like. Um, I've also been gay for her for a really long time. Victoria knows she seizes me endlessly, but I mean, well, she's allowed to, and I love her and I'm with her, so it's not like it's any issue or anything at all. Um, Right now I'm trying to go in with some flat tones and flat colors just to like give it something extra besides just a sketch and uh, see what that is. I had so many issues. I had to go back a couple of times to redo this this uh, flat coloring because with, with all the crashing and the restarting of the computer and everything um, and you can see it's not necessarily going that well for the video. But you'll just kind of have to live with it, because that's kind of the footage I have. Which is really sad, but I mean, 
what can you do, right? When you're sitting there afterwards trying to edit everything and make sure that everything is okay. You can just kind of only hope for the best and this is clearly not the best, but what, what can you do, you know? It was more important for me that Victoria got to take a break off and enjoy herself a tiny bit instead of killing herself over trying to finish all the Inktober drawings. She was doing a great job though, I mean if you guys haven't been been keeping up to date with what we've been doing, if you're new to this channel, you should go and check out all her amazing Inktober. She did a marvelous Inktober because she's a huge Marvel nerd and I love her for it. And um, she did a great job. It's just when you want to do highly rendered, highly detailed drawings um, and you don't have that much time, our schedule has been nuts and it's just kind of hard to keep up. Um, I also haven't really been doing Inktober so far and I mean I've been doing it all the other years and I've had other stuff going on so I feel like it's okay but I mean I also wish that I had pitched in more and tried to help more out with everything but um, yeah our schedule has been kind of busy so that's that's just how how it is sometimes um, but now I'm trying to go in with some shadows and some highlights just to add a tiny bit to the piece just to give it a bit more of a, of a flesh and I am so sorry for all the blurriness and everything I, I don't have a better computer to render than my own um, and it's not that good at rendering but um, I'm trying to smudge some of the edges just to give it a tiny bit of life and just to give it some something extra that yeah, just, just a small thing. This is going to be a really, really sketchy piece. But um, hopefully that's okay for now. It's also been fun trying to play around with, with not being that tied down and, and being more and more loose and playing around with how that can turn out and that whole sketchy feel. I want to play more around and, and see if I can create something really nice with that. Is, I do feel like it has a nice feel to it, but um, yeah, this piece is soon over. You can see it in any moment now. Um, it's been really fun trying to do this, and I hope that you've liked this video. Please give it a like and a subscribe, and go check out Victoria's stuff, because that is way better than what I've been doing now. Bye.